you be blessed. God made you a promise. You stood the test. He's going to open the window. Pour you out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise. And you stood the test. And pour you out. It's your season to be blessed. I'm blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. I'm blessed going out. And I'm blessed coming in. He's going to open the windows. Pour us out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise. And you stood the test. And pour us out. Is your season? Listen to this. I've been through the fire. I've been through a flood. But I'm standing here because of his love. He's going to open the window. Pour us out a blessing. It's your season. To be blessed, it's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise, and you stood the test. Yes, you did. Rivers of hell and pour us out. It's your season, it's your season, it's your season. Is your seed whatever you want, whatever you need? It's your seed. Ask and it shall be given. It's your seed. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. It's your seed. It's your seed. It's your season to be blessed, to have success. It's your season to be real. It's your season to be blessed. Somebody praise him up in here. Cause I feel alright. Cause it's my season. And it's your season. So it's our season. It's my season. It's your season. It's our season. Whatever you want. Name it and claim it. Believe it and receive it. It's your season. 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 To be blessed. Amen. It's your season to be blessed. Whatever you need, God's got it. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. We thank God for each and every one of you here in the sanctuary. We thank you, God, for those of you who are watching the internet. You're at the right place at the right time to get your right now miracle. Whatever you need from God, God's got it. Amen. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. 
The author also says that I once was young, but now I'm old. But I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Amen. I want you to know whatever you need from God on this morning, God's got it. You're at the right place at the right time to get just what you need. Amen. 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 I'm on the scriptures of very familiar passage of scripture. John 3 and 16, it says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that we have the right to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. How many know it's time for your miracle? Amen. Amen. It's about time for your miracle. Yes. All the faith you need is about the size of a mustard seed right now.
Thank you, Lord. You allowed us to see another day. Amen. That's a miracle within itself. I have so much to be thankful for. Amen. My list of thanksgiving is very so much longer than my list of complaints. Amen. 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 My list of things God has done for me is, is so much longer than the devil's done to me. Amen. Amen. I have so much to thank God for. Amen. I have a lot to thank God for. I'm grateful on today. For the Bible says in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. Amen. Amen. What sometimes God will don't feel good. Amen. Amen. Sometimes God's way is hard. But many other afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord will deliver them out of it all. Amen. Now, God, we thank you for this congregation of believers and everybody under the sound of my voice. We ask you, God, to open up their hearts so they can receive what you're saying. Give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Say that we serve you notice that your plans are canceled and you are defeated. Yes, Lord. And it's because Christ is exalted. And it's in the matchless and powerful name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. 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 This morning, I'm going to uh, talk this morning. I'm, I may not holler and scream at you this morning, but yes. the Lord has given me a greater revelation. Hallelujah. On the eighth chapter of Romans, we'll start reading at the 24th verse. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Eight, Romans 8 and 24. Thank God. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. Yes. For what a man seeth, why do he hope for it? Yes. To better understand hope, everything we do, we have hope. And you hope that chair is going to hold you up? Come on, somebody. We hope that that car is going to get us to our next destination. Come on, somebody. We hope we wake up in the morning. Come on, somebody here. Hope is everywhere. When you're feeling sick, you hope that you're going to get better. Yes. The problem with so many believers is because we do not see it, we do not believe it. Yes. But Jesus says, for blessed are ye who do not see. Come on, somebody. Right. The disciples said, well, let me look at your nail. Let me look where they, where they placed the nails in your hand. Let me put, look where they placed the, where they pierced you in your side. Come on, somebody here. Hallelujah. Thomas was a doubter. Come on. But he said, blessed are those who will not never see me, but still believe in me. Hallelujah. Sometimes you may not see the hand and work of God. Does not mean that he is not working. Right. Just because you don't feel him does not mean he is not near. Right. He said, behold, I am the Lord and I change not. Come on, somebody. He didn't change his mind about blessing you. He have not changed his mind about healing you. He have not changed his mind about saving your family members. Amen. Just because you do not see him does not mean he is not there. Yes. You got to know and understand we serve a gentleman. Come on, somebody. He said, behold, I stand in the door and I knock. Uh-huh. Sometimes God hasn't begun to work on our behalf because we have not asked him to. Yes, He's not a takeover God. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. He's not a rude God. He only comes where he's invited. Come on. That's why he said, ask and it shall be given. Amen. Seek and you shall find. Amen. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Amen. He said, but if we hope for what we not see, then we wait with patience, wait for it. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. The problem with so many of us is we waiting, but we don't have no patience. Amen. We waiting and we complain. We wait and we cry. We wait and we moan. Yeah. We wait and we groan. Come on, somebody. We wait and we try to fix it ourselves. Then yeah. we wait and we try to figure it out. We wait and we try to put a time limit on it. Yeah. Come on. We, we, we wait and we try to put a deadline on God. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We got to know and understand that we serve the God of all gods. Yeah. God is so God that he manipulates time. Yeah. He said, I will restore the years. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. God will give you your youth back. Yeah. Come on, somebody, the Holy Ghost, the joy of the Lord to become your strength, and you get endowed with the power of the Holy Ghost, and then you start looking younger. Y'all know that. Yeah. Didn't he change the countenance of Moses when he went up in t- to see the burning bush? Amen. He'll change your countenance too. Yeah. He'll change the way you look. He'll change the way you walk. Yeah. You, you can't tell me you've been in God's presence and you still talk defeated. That's right. That's right. You can't tell me you heard from God and you still walk around looking defeated. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He'll change the way you walk. He'll change your conversation. He'll change the way you think. You start thinking like a loser and start thinking like a winner. Yes, Lord. Wait for it with patience. So I don't mind. See, I don't mind waiting on good service. Come on, somebody. 
We all got our favorite restaurant. That's right. And you know where the food good at? <laughs> and you don't mean waiting on it, y'all know. Yeah. They say, well, it's going to be 30 minutes before we'll get your table. Well, I go over and sit and I will wait. Because I know what I want. I want some macaroni and cheese. Come on. That's the same way it is with God. Well, God, you say it's going to be a little bit. I sit here and I wait. Yeah. I wait. I just got to wait. Because see, when God do it, God do it well. Yes, he does. But when man do it, he'll have to do it every time. He said that the other scripture tells us, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. Sometimes your strength got to be up to carry this next blessing. Yes, mm-hmm. Sometimes your prayer life got to be up to carry this next anointing. Yes, Lord. You ain't prayed enough for the next level. Y'all not. <laughs> you ain't fasted enough for the next level. Yes. Oh, you ain't turned your plate down long enough. You ain't cried enough yet. Y'all not going to Wait with patience. Yes. Don't get aggravated in the process. Don't get frustrated in the process. He's still on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. He's still the king of all kings. Yeah. He's still the lord of all lords. Yeah. He's having the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. You change up on him, he ain't going to change on you. That's right. That's right. Amen. For likewise, the spirit help of our infirmities. Yes, yes. Huh. Infirmities. An infirmity is something that happens on the inside of you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we all got infirmities. The things that we have that are going on on the inside don't nobody know about. Come on, somebody. That conversation that the enemy had with you and then nobody else hear it. Come on. Yeah. Tell you it's too late. Huh. Are you too old? Come on, somebody here. Or you don't have enough. You don't know enough. You can't do Y'all not going to hear me. Am I the only one having infirmities? Lord. That's what the spirit is for. You can't catch the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to live inside of you. Amen. You have to be endowed with it. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Amen. You shall receive power. power. Amen. He'll help your infirmities. The things that you pray about, you can't tell nobody. Amen. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit Himself will make intercession with moanings which would cannot be uttered. Amen. Amen. Have you ever been in a prayer meeting and you had something on your spirit? It was so deep and heavy in your spirit. Words could you could not even articulate how you were feeling? Amen. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, God. But the Spirit of the Lord will speak for you yes. on your behalf. Yes. We got to learn how to stop. We we'll learn how to pray in the Spirit. Yes. Lead, be spirit led in your prayer. Jesus. Be spirit led in your conversation. Because he said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of what? Living water. Yes. Hallelujah. What's living water? The Holy Spirit. It'll come out of you. Yes, Lord. And he, he that searcheth the heart knoweth and what the, is the mind of the Spirit. Because he make intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. Amen. Make sure what we're asking for is what God wants us to have. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Have we got hooked up and connected with stuff that God don't even want? God don't bless you. Your blessings don't aggravate you. Will God really bless you? It don't irritate you. Y'all not going to hear me here. If God really bless me with I ain't got to worry about how I'm going to pay for it every month. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If God really gave it to me, I ain't got to look at the woman and see if they're going to repossess it tonight. Yep. Yes, Jesus. If we wait on God, come on, somebody. You can go to bed at night. Come on, somebody. You can be confident if everybody here or you can be confident when nobody's here. I'm doing God's will. I'm doing God's work. I'm in God's plan. I'm on God's purpose. Yeah. I'm on God's agenda. Yeah. I'm on God's time. Y'all not gonna hear me. Amen. I'm not on Eastern. I'm not on Standard. I'm not on Central. I'm not on Mountain. I'm on God's time. Yeah. The will of God. The problem with us is one thing I learned about a will. I've been to a reading of a will, and sometimes a reading of a will it can be disappointing. Y'all not gonna hear me here. 
You got everybody sitting around the table. And then the lawyer or whoever's in charge, they come and they begin to read the will. And they'll call out such and such name. And they'll say, we're going to leave you $300. Y'all not going to hear me. Mm-hmm. Then they'll call out the next person name. And they say, they're going to leave the, the family jewels. Y'all not going to hear me. Mm-hmm. But there's always somebody at that table who's left with nothing. Y'all not going to hear me. Right. Or they expect more than what they got. Y'all not going to and then sometimes the one that's sitting at the table, they get their name called out and they get more than what they anticipated. They never expected to be on the wheel at all. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory. That's the kind of God we serve. He said, I will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. Yes. You are in his will. Yes, Lord. You are on his mind. Yes. See. He knows what you need. When writing out a will, most people write out the will and they leave to a particular person what they feel they will most likely use. Come on. Yes, Lord. God knows what you need. He said, and we know. In other words, we got to take confidence. See, we, we, I never met so many saints with so low, low self esteem. Are so low in confidence in the abilities of God. We know that all things work together for the good of them who what? Love God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. It all works for my good. The sickness, come on. The disappointments, the heartaches, come on. The successes, come on. The happiness, it all have to come together, but it's working for your good. East and West has got to come together and bless you. Come on, somebody. Yes. He said, I will send you blessings from the north, the south, the east and the west. Yes. It's in the Bible. Uh, it's yeah. all going to come together. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes we don't understand it, but we got to know it's working. Yes. You take them aspirin for them headaches, you don't see it. And sometimes it takes a while for it to kick in. But you know it's working. Yeah, no. Jesus. Glory. A call according to his purpose. Are you called according to his purpose or your purpose? Whose purpose are you working, walking out? Are you walking out his purpose or your purpose for your life? <laughs> Is your plans lining up with his plans? Amen, amen. Are you self-called? Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Are you self-anointed? Y'all not gonna yeah. Are you self-appointed? Are you God called? Yes. God anointed? Yes. I can tell you who God called and God anointed is because when it's going good, they're there. But I can tell the ones who've called themselves. When it's going bad, they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> when you don't go the way, they out. Well, y'all not going to help me here. <laughs> but you've got to get to a place in your life that whatever God has called you to do, thick or thin, up or down, rough or smooth, here I am. Oh Lord, send me. Yeah. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many children. Moreover, he did predestine them, he also called them. Y'all not going to hear me here. And whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified them, also he glorified. We got to get to a place in God where we don't glorify ourselves. Yes. Yes. Let God raise you up. Amen. Let God call you. Let God anoint you. Come on. Yes. Amen. You, your job is to lift him up. Come on, somebody here. Our job is to lift him up. Yes. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Yes. The problem with us as a church is we don't lift him up high enough. That's right. They don't believe in the God that you talk about because every time you're going through, they can tell. Yes, Lord. They said, now you sit here, heal up here. You always seem to be sick. Y'all not going to hear me here. You say, you say here, Waymaker, you say you go to the Waymaker church, but every time you always wonder about how you going to come out. You say you're going to the Miracle Temple, but you don't, you don't act like you believe in a miracle. You act like you never got miracles before. Come on, somebody here. Lift him up. Make God look good. Yes. Hallelujah. 
He'll glorify you. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to make a name for yourself. Yes. You ain't got to make a title for yourself. You do the work, the title will come. Y'all know. Amen. 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 What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? What shall we say to the sickness? If God be for us, who can be against us? Yes, sir. What can we say to these bills? If God be for us, who can be against us? I wish I could talk to the right folks this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. If God be for us, who can be against us? Who bigger than God? Who better than God? Who stronger than God? Who know more than God? No one, no one. Who can be against us? Whose throne is bigger than God's throne? Whose star is greater than God's? You know. Who can be against us? He has spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Hallelujah. How shall we not with him also freely give us all things? How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Hallelujah. Glory. If he'll give us his son, come on somebody. Yes. What are you worrying about some rent money? What are you worrying about some car? Y'all not going to hear me here. Yeah? Didn't he pay it last month? <laughs> See, God has proven himself over and over and over and over. And then every time we go through a tribulation, we forget about the last time. Yes, yes, yes. Every time a sickness comes, you forget about the last time you were sick. Didn't he hear you last time? Yes, he did. Didn't he make the way last time? Yes, he did. Didn't he bring you out last time? Yes, he did. He's the same God. Yes, His address hadn't changed. His phone number hadn't changed. Y'all not going to hear me. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, He's still on the throne. Yes, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justify. God will. God will justify. You ain't got to chase nobody down. You ain't got to beat nobody up. We got to get so in God, so enthralled in our purpose and in our call that we love you anyway. Come on, somebody. When you say all kind of men of evil against you, the Bible said, blessed are you when men men rather you and say all men of evil against you. Evidently, you're doing something right. Why these people don't like me? Why these folks don't, you know what I mean? We got to get to a place in our, our life and our spirituality and our walk with God that we're so enthralled in what God has called me to do. I ain't got time to be chasing you down, trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Jesus. They got a song on the world say sweep around your own front porch. <laughs> See the problem is we're trying to straighten everybody else out and we ought to straighten ourselves out first. Yeah. The Bible says physician heal yourself. Right. Fix yourself up. Mm. Build yourself up in your most holy faith. Yeah. Sanctify yourself. Y'all not going to hear me here. See, the problem is, wait, no, God said, I'm waiting for save and sanctify me. The Bible says, sanctify yourself. Yeah. In other words, you got to clean your own act up. You got to clean your own refrigerator out. You got to clean your own clothes. Y'all not going You got to clear your own phone calls up. You know, you got to clean, the, clean out your phone book and stop calling. So, y'all not going to hear me here. Sanctify yourself. And then when you're clean and you're set aside, then you're ready for the master's use. The problem with so many of us is we want the Lord to use us, but we're fearful. I love to drink milk, but I ain't going to drink none out no dirty glass. That's the same thing that happened in the church. We're filthy. But then we want to minister to somebody with all the filth in us that we have to cleanse ourselves first. If the gospel ain't working on me, it sure ain't going to work on you. Hallelujah. We got to get 
If the message ain't working in me, it don't convict me, it sure ain't gonna do nothing for you. Amen. God called you. God anointed you. And God is going to glorify you. God will raise you up. Promotion doesn't come from the east. And it don't come from the west. And essentially what he's saying is don't look for the validation of your friends, your family. Come on, your cousins, your neighbors. The scripture told us that even my mother and my father will forsake me. Promotion comes from above. Amen. Look up. Hold your head up. Yes. Walk in authority. Look up. David said, I look to the hill from which come my help. Hallelujah. Glory. All my help come from the Lord. Yes. Amen. It don't come from the government. You know. <laughs> it don't come from the family. <laughs> it don't come from the social security office. That's right. My help comes right. from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Put him first. Put him back first. Amen. Make him the center. In everything you do. Come on, somebody. Amen. In everywhere you go, pray. Men ought to always pray and not faint. When you're feeling faint, it's because you ain't prayed enough. Thank you, Lord. When you start thinking, I feel like quitting, I want to give up, I want to throw in the towel, it's because you ain't prayed enough. Mm. You ain't prayed up yet. Instead of falling out, fall on your knees in prayer. Amen. 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 Instead of giving up, come on, somebody, throw your hands up and say, Lord, have mercy, mercy Lord Jesus. on me. Yes, Lord. Search yourself. Be assured within yourself that when you heard God, when God called you, it wasn't a three way call. No, come on, somebody. <laughs> when God spoke to you, He didn't have a committee meeting. Come on, somebody. You've got to stand sure in what God has called you to do. Be sure in what God has placed in your life to do. Be sure in where God has told you to go. Come on, somebody here. No matter how long it takes, wait. It's worth the wait. I'm living witness. Whatever it is, it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. I remember I tell this, I tell this often, but it, it was so powerful. I remember I was wanting a piece of property so bad, and the price was so low. You hear me? But they said, they told me no. And so the Lord allowed me to be in a situation where I could lease it. And the first month we were in there, come on somebody here, the electricity, it just blew up. Then the next month, the water pipe burst it. You see what I'm saying? Sometime God will put you in a situation he'll show you just what you want is not what you need. Amen. Just what you want is not what you need. Amen. And the scripture told me that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We get all glad when God is telling us, yes, go, do. We got to be just as excited about God when He's telling us no. Yes, Lord. Amen. Wait. Wait. Not right now. Yes. <laughs> you still got to praise Him when He's telling you no. You still got to love Him and serve Him when He's telling you no. Amen. And God is going to bless you. Yes. Remain faithful. Yes. Be encouraged. I want you to be encouraged. Yes. The best days are not yesterday. He said, greater work shall you do than this. Every morning you wake up, you got to make up in your mind, I'm going to do something greater. Amen. I'm going to sing greater than I did yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to pray greater than I did yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to preach greater than I did yesterday. Yeah. Remain confident in God's call on your life. Yeah. Remain assured that there is a purpose. You are here for a reason. Now, God, we thank you for this word this morning. Amen. Reminding us Hallelujah. that you call and you anoint and you appoint. Thank you, Lord. We ask you to look on this congregation of believers. Bless those that are under the sound of my voice. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice that's sick, we command you now to be healed. Yes. In the matchless and powerful name of thank Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. 
God, we thank you now for uh, the spirit that we feel. And we ask you, Lord, to look on these people. There's so many that are searching for one thing or another. There's so many that are in need. But we know and understand that you were so big that you put wings on an archangel. Yes, Lord. Yet you're so delicate that you can put wings on a butterfly. Hallelujah. Satan, we serve you notice that your plan is canceled. And you are defeated. And Christ is exalted in the matchless and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Repeat this prayer to me. Say, Father, Father forgive, me, forgive me. For I'm a sinner. Created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. I take off the old and put on the new, which is in you. If you recite that prayer wholeheartedly, I want to let you know that your best days are in front of you and not behind you. Come worship with us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We have Sunday morning miracle service where you can get a miracle from God, whatever you need. God's got it. Amen. 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 Just a few moments of observations on next week. We will be in our friendship district meeting. Amen. Amen. Tuesday night to Friday night. Tuesday night will be evangelistic night. Wednesday night will be official night. Thursday night they will be celebrating a district missionary. And Friday night will be the youth department. Amen. Amen. It's going to be at Victory Cathedral, 3701 Campbellton Road. 7.30 nightly. Amen. And next Sunday we're going to come in here with a high praise because we have been here for six years. God has been faithful to us for six years. Amen. 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 I believe God's going to give me a very special word for next Sunday. Amen. 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 At this time we're going to go, but we never dismiss. Amen. We speak healing in your life. We speak deliverance in your life. An undeniable display of the power of God in your life. We will rest until we see you blessed. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Amen.